During the takeoff, note the depiction of transmission lines on the helitaws to enhance situational awareness to the pilot. It is three minutes into our flight. The helicopter has significant terrain on the left, which is not a threat. Note the nuisance caution from the HTAWs. Notice that the Sandell Helitaws will not issue a nuisance alert. The Helitaws shows the threat clearly on the display in red. It is above the helicopter. When the terrain threat becomes a true safety threat, the Helitaws issues a proper caution. This is the purpose of the Sandell True Alert algorithms. To eliminate nuisance alerts and ensure that the pilot pays attention to an alert when he gets one. Compare the ability to interpret these displays The pilot has not yet taken evasive action, and the helitaws promotes the alert to a warning. The pilot finally pulls the nose of the helicopter up to avoid the terrain. The simplicity of this maneuver shows the accuracy of the true alert algorithm in relation to reality. Notice the HTAWS continues to produce a nuisance warning for nine more seconds after the threat passes. We are seven minutes into our flight. We skipped one minute of continuous nuisance alerts from the HTAWs. There was never any terrain threat. In the left turn, the situation changes. The helicopter is turning into a hillside and produces a series of caution alerts on the helitaws. Try to interpret the two displays. Notice during an alert, the helitaws switches to the relative altitude display, removing topographic information and restores to pilot's original display selection after alerts cease. Please compare the displays and note the ease of interpretation of the helitaws display. Notice now the presence of the transmission lines on the helitaws display. You can see one across the water, even in the two mile display range. Note the caution wire callout followed by the caution terrain. After the evasive maneuver, a new caution wire alert occurs from the wire crossing the reservoir. If you look carefully, you can see it. The pilot has had one minute of visual cues about the wire on the helitaws display and more than 20 seconds of alerts. The HTAWS has been nuisance alerting for over two minutes. It would likely be turned off. After the alert on the small island, the pilot wants to descend below 300 feet AGL without alerting. He presses low sense on the helitaws. Notice the helitaws in low sense will still alert on an unintentional descent or a real terrain threat. The alerts immediately cease during safe operation. Notice and compare the depiction of terrain on the HTAWS and the HELITAWS displays. The HTAWS is put into reduced protection mode. The nuisance alerts nevertheless continue. Notice that when the pilot intentionally maneuvers the helicopter into a large hill, the helitaws, which has been silent, immediately alerts and continues to alert until there is safe clearance.
The pilot turns away from the terrain and unintentionally towards a transmission line on the right. Notice the caution wire alert. This stops after a slight left turn. Are we safe? Not yet. After leaving the reservoir area, notice the presence of the next set of transmission lines on the Helitaz display. Finally, the HTOS stops its nuisance alerting. It has been alerting almost continuously for six minutes. Notice this occurs just as the helicopter is threatened by a wire. The heli -taws alerts on the wire, giving the pilot valuable time to make a decision. The pilot surveys the situation and decides to make a right turn. A climb would also have prevented an accident. Notice the continuous nuisance alerts from the h -taws in relatively clear terrain. The Sandell heli -taws is silent. These nuisances continue for more than 70 seconds. Notice the h -toss producing a nuisance alert on terrain off to the left, yet there is no terrain threat. The Sandell Heli Toss does not produce any alerts until the pilot turns into the terrain. The helicopter is going to fly into a canyon. The h -toss is put into reduced protection mode and the Sandell Heli -toss is in low sense. We have skipped one minute of flight. There have been continuous nuisance alerts from the h -toss for the last 90 seconds. The Sandell Heli Toss is put into proprietary off airport mode to allow hover to land. All protection remains active. The Heli Toss produces a proper caution when the pilot turns into a hillside. The alert immediately ceases when the helicopter is clear. Note, the h -toss has disabled itself. The Sandell heli -toss continues to operate and protect the helicopter. During the landing, the Sandell heli -toss, although completely active, generates no alerts. We have taken off and the helicopter is in hovering flight. Notice that the terrain on the Sandell heli -toss is always correctly depicted. Watch carefully the terrain on the h -toss display on the left. We are now departing the area. Notice the caution wire alerting the pilot to the presence of the transmission line. This last sequence is a good demonstration of the visual acuity of the Sandell Helitaz display, including a caution on the transmission line.